I was about 19 when I went to Reece Sydney Tech in 1962 to start making pots when Peter Rushforth was there as head teacher of the National Art School Pottery course. Um, and his ideals and teaching made a great amount of sense to me. It seemed to begin to answer some questions I was asking about what I could do with my life. I was a trainee for three years there, teacher trainee, and then Peter offered me the job as clay boy at East Sydney. And so I took that job on for the next couple of years and I've been making pots and making clay ever since. My pottery practice involves um, the wheel, both kick wheel and electric wheel, um, and everything is wheel thrown. Um, the clays are made up from some local materials and some commercially available materials that I combine to get different effects in the clays. Uh, the glazes then, once again using local rock and um, milled materials that come from the industry where I make up recipes based on the old Song glazes from the 9th century in Korea. The glazes, we melt, potters melt rocks, heat them up, mix them up together, melt them until they run and slither and this little wine cup seems to echo some of the things that are happening with these other pots from the bushwalking that I do with an old mate of mine, been doing it for 30 years. He's a poet and I'm a potter, and between us we seem to get fed from the national parks and our bushwalking experiences. The work exhibits a balance between narrative and reflective contemplative ideas. The chums are used to reflect something of the old tectonic forces the melting and flowing of rocks from our planet's prehistories, which are evident in the deep ravines and cliffs of the Kalmung River chasms. These landscapes seem to accept our walking tours of the Canimbra Boyd National Park, offering a sense of all will be well, even when we might have become stuck amid those beetling cliffs and sliding shale screes and fogs and red cedars and scary cave systems and river oaks by quiet pools. All that humbling beauty. Gary Purcell's little poem called Reflecting Pool. Still reflecting pool is still reflecting river oaks in the world I see. Now, my poem about this vision that came down the river. This is as we were struggling up out of the Cowman after a very exhausting walk. High above the river on the shale, among iron barks, looking west into the sun, a vast shimmer between blue steeps a mile off revealed a passing host in air and gone. We stood lost for words with the reverent honey eaters. <laughs>